Hello everyone, I'm Amanda and this is Big Empress Energy. I am here to do a general April love reading for all those concerned with Taurus. So Taurus could be your sun, moon, or rising signs. Your Venus could be in Taurus, um, or you could be connecting with a Taurus. And if that's the case, just be aware that you might have to flip the roles. And if this reading resonates with you, please like and comment. And if you like the way that I read, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I have a tiny channel and every little bit helps so much. Wow, Taurus. Two more, please, from my Tauruses. Silence and memories. Wow, Taurus, the bottom of the deck is breaking point. Um, someone has hit their limit. I don't know if it's you, Taurus, or if it's the person that you're dealing with. Um, at the very heart of this reading is this, you know, influences card. So that could be a lot of things, you know, that could be overbearing uh, parents, that could be, you know, third parties like cheating um, in affairs, that could be um, substances or alcohol, um, that could be a toxic friend group, it could be a lot of things, uh, Taurus. But something, um, some kind of outside energy was seeping in to this connection that you have, Taurus. And I think either you are twin flames with this person, um, this is your twin flame, or th that's how they perceive your connection. Um, but with this infinity symbol, I am inclined to believe there was a soul tie of some kind, soulmate, twin flame, whatever, Taurus. Um, but you and this person are no longer speaking. Um, I'm assuming because either you ran or they ran, but what I'm getting from most of you is I think they ran away from the connection. Um, it was really intense, like I'm getting a lot of intensity here, and I think this person, you know, ran away. I think they got scared. Um, but it's interesting getting the running card and the exhaustion card. So for some of you, this is not going to be for all of you. This person is at a physical distance from you, Taurus. Um, but for others of you, I mean, this person has just distanced themselves emotionally the best that they can. Um, simply because it's scary to feel deeply for someone. Now, this person, during the separation that the two of you are having right now, has been focusing on healing. Um you know, balancing out their energy, um, their feelings, because, you know, like I said, this feels incredibly intense, what you had with this person, Taurus. They're spending, it's, it's funny because they're, it's not funny, but it's interesting to me, it's almost ironic that this person isn't speaking to you, but all they're doing is thinking about their feelings for you and all the things that happened in your connection. Um, you also might not be speaking to this person, Taurus. Uh, you two could be, you know, gone silent on each other. No contact. Um, this person, Taurus, with exhaustion and, and sorrow here with the depression, I'm getting clinical depression energy. So Taurus, you could have clinical depression. This person could have clinical depression. Um, you both could. Uh, but I'm really getting, you know, this, this kind of exhausted sadness, like this exhausting sadness, the kind where you can't get out of bed. Um, I do see, you know, I see this person suffering from that, Taurus. I, you know, for some of you, it really could be substances because this, this third party, just because, you know, that's a very common escape route <laughs> for people with, you know, de clinical depression or other mental illnesses. Like they, you know, they tend to go to substances. Um, but it, you know, Taurus, it's also possible that you or this person were still attached to someone else when you met. Um, and it could be part of why this connection ended as suddenly as it did. Um, now, Taurus, just because this person is silent right now and ran away from your connection does not mean that they don't want to be with you. Um, 
like I said, I see them reminiscing about your connection basically all day long. Like, yes, they're not expressing it to you, but all they're doing is thinking about you, Taurus. And the and eventually hoping to reconcile with you. It does seem like this person has quite a bit of healing left to do before they're ready to reconcile with you, Taurus, but that doesn't mean this person isn't going to reach out. Um, this person, like I said, they recognize that this is a soul connection. Um, they know that, that they want to be with you. Um, but I'm almost getting this energy, Taurus, of like, like knowing that they want to be with you, but they don't fully understand like why they ran away or why they felt the urge to escape this connection. Um, yeah, I think the two of you feel both feel very strongly for one another. I think you're both really attracted to each other mentally, uh, emotionally and physically. Um, this person is suffering without you, Taurus, um, even though they're not expressing it. But, you know, for some of you and not for all of you, this person puts you in a third party situation, um, like they were connecting with someone else when they had a commitment to you or a connection with you. Um, and then for others of you, you know, this person just had very poor boundaries is the words I'm hearing in my head. And they let a lot of outside energies interfere with the connection that the two of you shared. Um, very interesting, Taurus. Very interesting. They do want to get back together, though. I mean, with the dice here, um, someone could be into gambling or, or you know, playing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know a lot of the... I don't gamble. But, um, you know, playing games, you know, like casino games and stuff. I'm not sure why they're telling me that, but that's, that's what I have. Um, and Taurus, um, this person with peace and healing here... This person could be really spiritual or this separation could be um, like a catalyst for them having a bit of a spiritual awakening. Um, yeah. I think you and this person, Taurus, underneath all of the chaos and underneath like your love and commitment in a romantic sense, I think you and this person really did have a friendship. I think, I think you both like loved each other's personalities. Um, but that can only do so much, right? This person is struggling without you, though, Taurus. I want to... Let's go to the tarot so that I can get, you know, a little more specific with what happened here, what all of this is. Um, what's the third party? Inf oh, sorry. What's the influences, please? Mm, Ace of Swords. Wow, the infinity symbol falling on top of that. Yeah, I think you two have, like, this also creates, you know, like an infinity sign. Um, Taurus, I think you and this, I think you and this person probably hit it off, like, like instantly, almost like shocking with this lightning here. Um, I think this person... <sighs> They could have lacked, like, this could be, you know, kind of a reverse energy, like, they lacked honesty, they did not communicate well, that's going to resonate with some of you. Um, but then, for some reason, my guys are telling me this, so I'm going to give this to you as well. For some of you, um, the, this person just was, like, too honest, like, like, they you know, they said basically anything that entered their mind and whether it be mean or nice or whatever, they, they felt the urge to speak their mind, um, which can be endearing, but it can also really not be <laughs> depending on the person and your connection. Um, but more than anything, uh, whether this person, you know, was unfaithful or this person, you know, had a toxic friend group or toxic coworkers or whatever. This person had people in their ear, um, telling them what this connection should be. Um, and, and I think they ran away. Hopefully that makes sense. That's, that's the message they're giving me, but they do want to be honest now, Taurus, for what it's worth. They want to come forward and offer an explanation. Bottom of the deck is the lovers. Yeah, this was a soul tie connection. 100%. You could be dealing with the Gemini. 
um, because that's Gemini's card. Wow. And again, for some reason, I'm getting distance. For some of you, not all of you, of course, but for some of you, I think this person is at a physical distance from you, like long distance. Um, yeah. Interesting. You and this person are a match, though. They're telling me to put it here. Like a divine pair. Um, what's the silence about? What's the silence about, please? Hmm, that's it. Oh, the tower. Wow. Look at all this lightning, Taurus. This person, I think, came in to your life in a really shocking, um, just abrupt way. And I think they also left um, in an abrupt way. For some of you, this person ghosted you. Um, we have ghosting here with the running and then, you know, with the silence and stonewalling energy, um, I'm getting, you know, for some of you, this person ghosted you or just all of a sudden went no contact, you know, with like little to no explanation. Um, and I think it shocked you, but also I think this person, um, is going through some stuff in their life, um, outside of your connection that's, that really interfered with it and kind of brought it, brought it down to ground level because, um, this, this connection for whatever reason didn't have as strong of a foundation as I think both of you wanted it to. Um, and that's why the tower came in and, you know, wiped it away. But again, I do get like a lot of interference from outside people. Um, like maybe this person felt like like what they should do, so to speak, regardless of how they feel, you know, because obviously they love you. Obviously they feel deeply for you and know that there's a soul tie here. But I think they just, I mean, I think they freaked. Um, but I also think a lot of it had to do with other people's input and other people's opinions, whether that be like an actual third party, like a third party partner, like they were cheating. Um, or an overbearing mother or father, you know, an overbearing, um, co-parent. Um, yeah, just, just people that interfered, you know, um, or substances, things that interfered could be too much work, but whatever it was, it, it really knocked your, your weak foundation down. <laughs> um, yeah, but this person wants to try to rebuild with you. Oh, the bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups. For some of you, this really could be, um, yeah, this really could be a third party situation, like, like a third partner at play. Um, this person could have put you in a third party situation, Taurus, or, you know, you could have been connected with someone else and this person was the third party and it freaked them out and they ran away. Um, You'll know which one resonates with your situation, obviously. Um, and then for some of you, you know, the third party was a family member or something non-romantic um, or their business or, you know, it could be a million things. Um, but there was just this third, like third parties here. And then we have the three cups here and three birds. It's like there was just one too many. There was just one too many um energies at play here, Taurus, uh, whether that's from your side or their side. Um, and then, you know, with the two of pentacles here, there's that infinity symbol again. Um, there's a lack of balance. There was a lack of balance and that's why the tower came in. Um, but again, Taurus, this person could have juggled you in the traditional rider way. You know, it's, it's like a jester looking guy. Um, balancing, even though they're off balance, he's like balancing, um, two pentacles in, in an infinity symbol, um, on a beach. Not that that's relevant, but, um, but you know, I use it sometimes to represent someone who's conflicted, like going back and forth in their mind on something, on a decision. Um, so this person could have been conflicted about your connection, Taurus, um, or you could be conflicted now. That's entirely possible if this person has returned, um, but also, you know, again, for some of you that resonated with this being like, you know, with there being cheating and infidelity, um, I get that, you know, this, this person really did juggle you with someone else. It really should have just been these two energies, you and this person, but there was that third cup. Um, 
Hmm. What's the sorrow, please? That's it. Oh, nine of pentacles. Yes, this is my single independent card. <sighs> I think... Okay, so the nine of pentacles in the traditional Rider weight is this attractive woman in a garden. Um, she has, you know, her nine pentacles growing. It's very lush setting. She's alone. She's independent. She's content on her own in her own garden. And I think this person now, Taurus, is regretting seeing you um, single, attractive, available um, with, you know, God, there's... I'm going to take that as confirmation, that airplane, really loud airplane. Um, yeah, I think this person is regretting um, not being connected to you now. I think they're, like, like loss is on this card here, Taurus. I think this person really is feeling your loss, like they're grieving this connection. Um, yeah, or they could be single now and they really don't like that. Um, it could be both, but really what I'm getting here, Taurus, is you... Um, being single, attractive, independent, and trying to move on from this, and it's hurting this person to watch that. Um, wow, King of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but yeah, I think, Taurus, I think you held your ground with this person. I think you told them off if, if that that's what they needed. Um, I think you were very honest with this person, Taurus. And, and I think it really shook up life as they knew it. Uh, you know, it really shook up their, their foundation. Ooh, what's the running, please? What's the running, please? Ooh, seven of swords. Dishonesty. Um, yeah. For a, okay, so for a good chunk of you, Taurus, this person was unfaithful. Um, getting the Three of Cups, getting the Third Party card, and the Seven of Swords, it's like, wow, yeah, I think this person was unfaithful. Um, but that's not going to be for all of you, of course. Um, but the way that this fox is, is hiding the Seventh Sword under its tail, and its eye is open, so it's aware that it's hiding, it's trying to pull the wool over your eyes, um, so to speak. I think this person tried to slip away um, unnoticed without taking any responsibility with this runner energy. Um, and again, I mean, they really could have ghosted you with the silence and this uh, ghosting here. And then the Seven of Swords, it's kind of like skirting responsibility or escaping um, without addressing anything. But ultimately here, Taurus... I'm just getting that this person, for whatever reason, now looks back on the way that they behaved in your connection and they feel dishonest and not proud of the way that they conducted themselves. Let me just say that. <laughs> wow, the world. This connection, yeah, you two really are in separation, I think, Taurus. Um, this connection was powerful with the world here. I mean, it marked the end of a, like, in, like intense cosmic shift for this person, I think. Um, yeah, I think you really shook their reality, Taurus, and I think the connection that you two shared really shook their reality. Um, and I mean, this is the last card of the Major Arcana, so this person, you know, this marked the close of this really intense cycle for this person. Um, probably right around the eclipse, if I'm being honest. But again, the world is a card of travel, um, you could be for real at a distance from this person, Taurus, like this could be long distance, no contact. <laughs> I feel silly even saying that like long distance, no contact, but, um, yeah, this person could be at a distance from you. Um, okay. What's the healing, please? What is the healing that this person has been doing? That's it. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. They're, they're trying to, like, they're trying, I'm almost seeing, you know how this is like a tree rings and, and this is a tree. It's like they're, they're building, they're starting again, they're building, they're planting that initial seed to hopefully have another tree with a much stronger foundation. Um, yeah, they're going back to square one, um, and they're rebuilding. So it's nice. It's nice, Taurus. I get that this person did hurt you, but they are trying to better themselves. You have two aces here, Taurus. 
this person really wants a new start with you really wants a new start with you i think they saw you and your connection as a new beginning for them um wow page of cups you're gonna get an apology taurus i'm convinced that's that second chance wow empress so this is taurus and libra's card um this, you know, this could represent you, Taurus, um, or it could represent this person. You could be in this uh, divine feminine energy, male, female, any other gender, it doesn't matter. Um, we all have a divine masculine and a divine feminine energy that we step up into when we are high vibrational. And Taurus, I see you having stepped up into this, like, high vibration energy. Um, and I think... I think it's kind of drawing this person in. I think it's attracting this person. They're looking back on it now and they're like, that really was my person. Why did I mess that up? Um, okay. What's the exhaustion, please? Just what's the exhaustion? Hmm. Oh, five of swords. Yeah, this is a card of self-destruction. Um, this... I just did a reading for Virgo, and this reminds me of Twin Flame as well, like the two pieces of this earthworm. Um, I think you severed things with this person, Taurus, because they were not respecting the high vibrational, high quality partner that you were, or this fresh start. They just they just didn't treat it with respect. They didn't appreciate it. Um, and, and how you, you know, were faithful and loyal and... and um, like a stable foundation for this person. They just didn't respect it. They didn't treat it with respect. Um, and this person is now feeling exhausted with this separation. I mean, I see this as the twin flame separation and there you are and there they are Taurus and it's weighing on them being disconnected from you as it does because twin flames are two bodies, but one soul. Um, and I think this person, um, is, is really struggling with that distance um, from being with the other half of their soul. You have three, three here, Taurus. You have two aces. Very, very interesting reading. They're telling me to look at the bottom of the deck. Eight of swords. Yes. You have the seven and the eight of swords. Um, I think, yeah, I think this person feels stuck in their circumstances, Taurus. I think they felt fear being with you because they felt so strongly for you. Um, but I think they're realizing now how much worse it is being without you. Um, yeah, I think this person was scared to take a chance on this connection and really dive in. Um, especially if it's a twin flame runner. All right. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get, Oh, sorry. I'm going to use this deck. All right. Can I have this person's intentions for my Virgo in the month of April, please? That's it. Five of Pentacles. Interesting. Kind of deal deal with what they have going on. The Magician. This is Gemini and Virgo. You have two Gemini cards here, Taurus. Um, yeah, I there's that infinity symbol again. I think this person wants to win you back. I think... Yeah, like, obviously, we have that second chance card. This person is going to apologize, Taurus. I just don't know if it's going to happen in the month of April because of where this person is at emotionally and f in their life, like, stability-wise. Um, Ten of Swords. Wow. This person is heartbroken without you, Taurus. They feel left out in the cold, abandoned, stabbed in the back. Um, yeah. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands. Yeah, I think this person... Oh my god, there's the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, Taurus. They know, they see you as single and attractive. I think they see, they look back on it now and they see you as someone who could have been their forever person. And I think that's really what makes this hurt that much more. Yup. Okay, Taurus, um... Can I have a card of advice for my Tauruses for love in the month of April? No, that's not it. Ooh. Six of Wands in the Chariot. Taurus, you are... I use this as Twin Flames as well, and the Four of Wands with the 11-11. Eleven, eleven. 
just pointing that out. I really think this could be a twin flame for a lot of you. Um, yeah, this is Cancer's card, so you could be dealing with a Cancer. Um, but Taurus, really, these are both cards of major success. Um, it's basically just reiterating that you are in this Empress energy. Um, you are attractive. You are attracting what you want. Um, and essentially, you know, don't, don't chase, don't chase, attract. Um, you're getting a lot of attention right now, Taurus. Just embrace that. Soak that in because you deserve it is really the message I'm getting here. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Um, this person is incredibly heartbroken without you, Taurus. Yeah. Also, Taurus, for some reason, this is not going to resonate with all of you, but my guides are telling me, um, try to focus on sleep, Taurus. Um, try to get, like, uninterrupted, um, solid hours of sleep if you can. All right, let's get just a few messages from this person for my Tauruses. I want a future with you. Oh, God, yeah, they do. I want to apologize. I need your forgiveness. What other messages? I'm afraid of commitment. Yes, they were a runner. Wow. We're meant to be together. I will wait as long as it takes to, to have a shot with you. I'm sorry. It's backwards in the camera. I have a hard time reading it backwards. I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense. And then look, I'm afraid of commitment. I'm ready for commitment. This person, first of all, Taurus, I think this person went back and forth a lot in their head. I think they were hot and cold. And I'm getting that with the I'm ready for commitment. And then I'm scared of commitment. But also, Taurus, I think this person is healing. They're working to make the changes to come back right. Um, for what it's worth. But you have free will, Taurus. You do not have to take this person back. Um, you're getting a lot of attention, a lot of love this April. Just soak that in and enjoy that. All right, Taurus, if this resonated with you, please like and comment. You can claim the reading. You can tell me about this intense connection if you want. Um, and if you like the way that I read, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you'd like a personal reading with me, Taurus, I'll put my email in the description box. All right, Taurus, I love you. I hope you have an amazing April, and I'll see you in the next one.